Hello, I'm Michael Sheen. I, currently, you can see me playing the Angel Aziraphale in Good Omens. And I am going to now read some British problems from Reddit. Saying, that's an unusual spelling, rather than pointing out that a parent has misspelled their new baby's name. Now, uh, is that a British problem? Um, I suppose, I mean, it immediately makes me think of Beckhams, I suppose, with sort of odd names, but I, is it, I mean, I've heard strange names on the continent more than in Britain. I don't know if that's a particularly British thing, is it? Or is it a, a little dig at our, at our ability to spell in Britain? I'll have you know, we invented English. If we choose to spell it a particular way, that is the way it's spelt. That was a bit aggressive, wasn't it? Sorry. My train was delayed this morning due to the fact it was late from the depot. Being late is not a valid excuse for being late. Do you know, I can't agree more with this. That is ridiculous. You can't say, oh, sorry, the reason, sorry, the reason I'm late is because I'm late. That sounds like you're just asking to be punched in the face. Not that anyone is ever asking to be punched in the face, let me make that clear. But if I had turned up in school and said, I'm so sorry, I am late to class. Um, the reason is because I'm late. I would have had my ear pulled, hoiked, all the way to the headmaster. Um, that makes it sound like I went to a posh school. I didn't go to a posh school at all. Um, but we did have a headmaster, because you just got to. That's the rule in Britain. I'm not sure, it's not like the Wild West where anything goes, where schools are just, where a number of people come together to tell each other stuff. We have headmasters. Look, what I'm trying to say is, in Britain I had a headmaster, but that doesn't mean I went to some posh private school. That's what I'm trying to say. Apparently, weather in the US is so relevant to us that we need hour-long segments about it on our news. Are we, do we have hour-long segments on British news about the US weather? I'm not aware of that. Maybe we do. I mean, of course, in Britain, we may not have hour-long segments about our weather, but that's all we talk about. <laughs> when you meet another British person, you say, um, what about this weather, eh? Ooh, if it's hot in the summer, people go, oh, I like it hot, but this is too hot. That's what people say, in Wales at least. And when it's cold, people are like, oh, oh, it's ridiculous. Isn't it? That's the first, that's how we say hello. Hello is essentially, uh, what about this weather? That's what we talk about. When it starts to rain in Wales, people say, it's spitting, it's spitting. Which is odd, isn't it, when you think about it? It's like saying God is spitting at us, which would be sort of apocalyptic and a horrible image. Neighbor told me my new fence was banging. I said, cheers, mate, I'm really happy with it. Turns out he meant the wind was making the panels bang in the night. Not that I'd done a banging job of putting it up. <laughs> Is that... Now, if you'd asked me, it, wh wh where do people say something's banging if it's really good? I'd have said that was in America. But maybe that, that is a British thing, is it? Banging? Oh, it's banging, mate. Bang. Actually, now that I think about it, I, it's exactly the kind of thing that James Corden would say. Oh, mate. Mate. I saw you in that thing the other night. It was banging, he would say. That's exactly, that's my impersonation of James Corden. He would definitely say that. But you know, he texted me yesterday and, he, and it opened with big dog. Who calls someone big dog? Do I look like a big, I, actually I do look like a big dog. I've answered my own question there, haven't I? I do, I look like a hairy old dog.